Welcome back to this video. Let's see how to add fonts in Corel Raw, the ultimate guide. So let's see. But before we dive into the tutorial, if you find this guide useful and you are very new to this channel, remember to click on that subscribe, turn on the notification bell for more tutorial about Corel Raw tips and tricks. So with that being said, let's get started. So the very first thing we need to do is to head over to internet and download the free font as a step one. So for us to do that, we have to open up our browser then we come to the address bar right here. So you have to type in the font.com and press enter. All right, so the site is going to open up like this. You can simply scroll down and select and download any type of font you like. Or best that still, you can browse by alphabetical or by name of font from the top right here. So any one of them you click on here, you are going to see a lot of fonts under these category names, okay? So as for this tutorial, I will just download this Blackie by Trotota. So what I need to do is to simply click on download right here. So in a few minutes, the download folder is going to prepare just like what you see right here. Okay, all right, so after a successful download, then we can access from the web page and head over to our download folder to unzip this file. So for us to do that, I'm going to minimize the web page. Then I'll click on any folder from my PC. Then I have to head over to my download folder. And here is the font. Then what I need to do is to right click on the folder right here. Then I'll make sure I click on copy. I'm going to minimize it, then I will make sure I open it in a new folder. So I'm going to open a new folder right here. Then I will right click and I'll paste it here. All right, so next thing I need to do is to unzip this particular folder. For me to do that, I will right click on the folder. Then I'll make sure I look for extract here. So we have the font right here. So the font has just two type of family font. Okay, so as you can see, this is the font file that we need. Then we can simply click on this folder. We'll press Shift key and delete on our keyboard, and I'll press Yes just to delete that. Then we can also delete this one. Shift key and delete key on our keyboard. Then we click on Yes. So we are left with fonts. Okay, so right here, for us to install this font on our PC, what we need to do is to press, simply press Enter key on our keyboard, having select the font. Then it's going to load up the preview just like what you see on the screen of this PC. Next thing I'm going to do is to simply click on install. Boom. So the font are successfully installed. Then I'm going to close this tab. I will install the second family of the font, which is true type font file. Then I will press enter key on my keyboard. Then it's going to load the preview of the font. Next thing I need to do is to simply click on install right here after I've seen the preview. So click on install. Let's go to prepare the installation file. Boom, everything has been successfully installed. Next thing we want to do now is to bring out our Corel Draw and see how we can use this font in our Corel Draw. So let's check it out. All right, so from Corel Draw right here, let's see how to add the font and how we can use the font. So first thing first, you need to head over to your type tool right here. So I'm going to click on hold down. Then I'll make sure I choose text. Okay, then I'll come to the workspace right here. Then I'll make it type. So I will just type in center. Okay, then I'll press Ctrl A just to highlight all the text. Then I'll come to the font type right here from the top here. I'll click on here. Then it's going to drop down all the name of the font. So right here, I need to type the name of the font, little black key. I think that's the name of the font we just download and install. Wow, so we have it right here. So I'm going to select it, the normal and the regular. Boom. Then I can simply come to the font size right here and uh, increase the font size from here. So I can make it 100%. Then I can change the color right here to something like blue. Boom, so it's as simple as that. So let me quickly go back to my move tool. 
So we have everything right here. So it's as simple as that. So this is how to add font to Corel Draw a step by step guide tutorial. I hope you really got follow for this video. If you find this video useful, give this video a big like and also remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on the special bell for more tutorial about Corel Draw tricks. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.